hi everyone today in this video tutorial I'm gonna demonstrate you a coding problem which is being asked in most of the JavaScript interview nowadays so the problem is to flatten the object of dynamic depth or dynamic range so what is the meaning of dynamic depth uh, it means it can have a property of multi-level hierarchy so here you can see that we have a multi-level of hierarchy so it is not fixed so the objective of this problem is to solve it in such a way that we get all the values in an array right and we have to write a common uh, utility function which will, which will return all the values irrespective of its depth uh, we also have to consider the corner cases such as this uh, object might contain a property which has value as null we have to uh, exclude those things those those property and it can also contain undefined we also have to uh, exclude these things and apart from that it can also contain a function which returns a string so that needs to be included so these are the corner cases uh, which also needs to be considered while writing a, a function so let's get started so we will create a function name you can name it anything but I'll write, uh, take it as a deflate object it will take an object as a parameter <clears throat> so I'm using an ES6 uh, arrow function we will create a result object array which will hold all the values of this uh, object so it will contain all the uh, values like hello john dairy your residential address is so it will not contain uh, the key it will contain the value of all the keys so we'll create another uh, inner function with object as a parameter which returns the value so basically uh, this is an object so we have to iterate over it to get the value to iterate over it we will use object dot keys object it will return the keys of this object so it will return all the keys of this object but it will return only the first level of keys so we'll iterate over it as we know that for each takes an a callback function so let's say we have to check what is the type of this first object to check it we can use type of method uh, operator which will give you what is the type of if it is an object will recursively call the deflate method if it is function will push it at into the result else we have to push rest of the thing in the result here I'm not pushing it so what we are doing I'll just reiterate so I'll just check the type of the object right if it is an object I'll uh, re again call this method with the uh, updated object if it is not an object if it is a normal string then it will again check whether it is a function or not if it is a function I'm just pushing the value of this function it will return 
the it, it will call the method and will get the string and we will push it into the result array and if it is not function so if it is a string will directly push uh, into the result array but we have not considered the null and the undefined so in order to check for the null what we can do we'll add this thing so this will also check whether the value so why i am checking over here is because the type of null is also an object so if the program execute over here at key it will return object so it will again call the null with this operator so we might get an error so that is why i just check before uh, recursively call rec recursively calling of this method and even here we have to also check right now we have to call this method and we have to return the result and uh, let's print the log i feel uh, let's see what it returns yeah so here we can see that uh, this array holds all the values of this object irrespective of the depth of the uh, object so this solution definitely uh, suits for all the type of uh, object and it will give you the value so that's all for today's video thanks for watching